Hi everybody, I'm Kathleen France and with this new decade, I'm entering the wonderful world of cabaret. And it all starts here in New York City. Woo! It's tough being almost 40 and still single in New York. And when you start realizing that the most exciting part of your day is escaping into the stories you read about on the subway, <laughs> well, it's time to make some changes. Each morning I get up and die a little. Can't barely stand on my feet. She just can't handle it. Take a look in the mirror and cry. Like a baby in a straight long night. I have and spent all my years in believing you. I like it. But I just can't get no relief, Lord. Somebody, somebody, can anybody buy? I think my whole skewed view of relationships all stems from when I was a child, and my favorite story was Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Somehow, I think those fairy tales messed me up a little. There's a princess in a coma, glad it's her instead of me. Pretty maiden in a glass box, how I wonder. Does she pee? Blah, 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 blah. Poison apple, boring, boring. Evil queen, filler, filler, Benarenda. Seven shorties on the scene. Skip ahead, skip ahead. But in the end, the princess wakes up with a start. The prince is good at kissing and melting Snow White's heart. So I know he'll appear and his armor will be blind. teeth and manly hose he'll propose on one knee and our prenup will be binding about time we set a wedding date day number 900 and 58. One of the reasons why the Book of Love has received such a good response is because everyone has experienced and can identify with the tumultuous emotions you feel in a relationship. Things like those butterflies you feel when you meet that special someone. He comes to me when I'm feeling down, inspires me without a sound. He touches me and I get turned on. But I have to laugh when he reveals me. He's got a way about him. I don't know what it is, but I know that I can't live without him. The pain you feel when they've done you wrong. I want to punch you in the face. Rip out all your hair. I want to burn you alive. And if you survive, I'll strap you to an electric chair. Or you can lean out the window a little too far. Don't look both ways and get hit by a car. Fall out of a roller coaster. Take a warm bath. With a plugged in toaster. In short, I hope you die. The loss you suffer when they leave. I wonder this time where he's gone. I wonder how long he's gonna stay. There ain't no sunshine when he's gone And this house just ain't no home Anytime he goes away Sometimes you might get off track a little bit and do something stupid. Hello, are you free tonight? I like your
Try some online dating. If you're fat, there's largeandlovely.com, there's winelovers.com, animalpeople.com, greensingles.com, heck, there's even meatandinmate.com. <laughs> I awoke this morning in my push button, even Marcus bed. La, 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 la. I caress the sables that had died to provide me with the spread. La, 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 la. And I don't know that I ever thought of it quite this way before. But I awoke this morning with a loud, clear conclusion in my head, which said, But in the end, hopefully it ends up even better than you dreamed. Hi, everybody. I wanted to thank you so much for welcoming me into the cabaret community. I've met so many amazing and talented new friends, and uh, thanks so much for all of your support. Come to the cabaret. Bye. <laughs>